Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking. My name's Lee, and this is outside a tank. Um, I've come out for an overnight there tonight. Um, <coughs> nasty weather is due. Uh, it's going down to freezing temperatures. So I'm going to take this opportunity on this video to show you um, several tips on how to stay dry and warm in winter conditions. It's all from experience guys. I'm an ex-military and as I said it's all from experience okay so let's have a good one. Let's have a good camp guys. Let's run this little intro. As I said, this is my shell scrape up in the Brecon Beacons area. Um, this is where we'd be spending the night. Now, last night I worked on night shift work, and the temperature just plummeted. Frost all around. We went down to minus five. Uh, st still to go down to minus one on the weather forecast tonight but um the whole purpose of this video guys I'm gonna show you six probably more really good tips that I was taught in the military how to stay warm and dry in freezing conditions so that's where we'd be spending the night um I'll put a few videos up throughout this video guys of the shell scrape from its infancy up until now um, as you can see we've had a dead fall on top of it I'm just gonna leave her there guys right it's strong enough yeah I'm just gonna leave her there um, yeah so I've got some nice food with me I'm going to be cooking on the ground there because as you can see I made like a little uh, cooking area on the ground and asked for ventilation I've got a film downloaded on my Netflix the new one about the shark, I don't know what it's called I've got my Kindle with me and I've got a little hip flask of Jameson's whiskey so I think we're in for a good night guys but um, as I say the whole purpose of this video is to run you through some tips how to stay warm and dry so you can get out in all conditions without a worry so I brought my 120 litre short pack British burger with me today there's everything I need in there with room to spare so let's get the ball rolling with the burger guys so we've got a burger liner in there okay now you've got a proper burger liner but for today just to show you that there's more economical ways of doing it i've got a, a black bag inside so everything inside the main compartment is in the black bag i say i've got a proper liner but i wanted to show you that the two rocket pockets see the pouches on the side they've also got dry bags and most of my components inside the burgan is also in dry bags so there's a tip there for you keep everything in dry bags so that's what it looks like inside my shell scrape uh, can't see it shell scrape 
guys. I've got some burlap on the bottom and I've got a mylar blanket up on the ceiling to retain some heat. So this is from the front looking in. Oh see his camo netting over there. Like so. The top flap of my burger guys, it's a zip compartment there. I've got a Gore-Tex jacket in that pocket there. So it's always at hand. So we've started downpouring, straight in the top, and then covered. Sticking with the burger gun guys, I've got a burger gun cover there, just so it stays dry. And the rocket pockets, dry bags. Another bit of quality kit guys, just a foam pad, just to keep you your behind and your knees off the cold earth. This is also a must. This is also a must, a piss bottle. So that means you don't have to get out to your shelter. A piss bottle. Just turn to the side, drop your dick in. So that means you don't have to get out to your shelter. You haven't even just got turn to the side, get out to the shelter, dick in. go one of these, see? Then you're away. It saves a lot you of You haven't even got to get out to the shelter if you go one of a these, see? cold bodies. So get it saves a, a lot of arm. Right? Females can use it as well. A lot of cold bodies. So, get... so we've got dry underwear and dry socks in there. Just in a Ziploc bag. I've got a woolly hat and woolly gloves in there in this dry bag I've got a boot kit so my boots stay dry on the outside so that's a good tip there guys right so always polish your boots when you're out in the field and I've also got foot powder to keep my feet dry as well before I make a brew guys just want to show you this in there I've got a litre of water and a nesting cup in the front pouch there I've got water purification tablets I've got a soya mini and I've got a mill bank bag and I bought that for £3.50 off Timu So I've got all my food inside now, got some light in there and all my entertainment for the evening. I'm just going to get my sleep system out now. So there's my burger and cover now, with the burger and cover. So carry one of them, right guys, you don't weigh nothing. So we're in the shell scrape now guys. My piss bottle, my entertainment, my food and water's down there, my frying pans. There's my little cooking hole where you've seen the, the vent on the outside. I've got a Yuko light up to put on later. I got a bush crafty type one. But this is it guys, this is a shell scrape, um, as you can see I got my lar on the ceiling to trap the heat in, that's the front, I'm at the back. So let's talk about feet for a minute guys, as I said um, always polish your boots okay, if you want to keep them waterproof. 
and you don't want your feet getting wet. Always powder your feet, whether it's in a cold climate or a warm climate, always powder them. Um, I've got seal skin socks on, on this trip guys, because um, I was expecting <coughs> a lot of rain that haven't come yet, see, but I've got seal skin socks on, which are 100% waterproof. I've also got a warm set of socks in my bag, if I fancy putting them on later. Um, another little trick I used to use back in the day, in extreme cold, is wrap your feet in tin foil. As crazy as it sounds guys, it does actually work, it does retain a lot of heat. So wrap your feet in tin foil in extreme cold conditions. So this one does need no introduction guys, hot drinks. Lots of, okay? So I don't know if you can see that guys, but in here now, with my body heat and the mile last ceiling, it's 11 and a half degrees. You can see what it drops down to through the night. Right guys, I'm a uh, I'm just preparing my meal now. I'm boiling some rice there. And I got some salmon and cherry tomatoes. So cherry tomatoes, rice and salmon. It's actually pitch black in there guys, so you know. Go on. There you go. So I'll, uh, when I boils now, I'll just leave it in the boiling water. Salmon won't take long. I'll fry that. And I'll show you what we come up with. Here we go. So we got some cherry tomatoes, some salmon, some lemon, and the rice is doing this thing there. So after the meal is cooked now guys and I've eaten it, then I'll start putting my uh, sleep system together. So all this is um, an air mattress, a bivy bag and a sleeping bag. And here comes the rain, on cue. There you go guys. Very beautiful. The only thing that's missing is some um, Celtic salt, I didn't bring any. But it don't matter. So I'll get out of my Gregory pack now and then I'll uh, lay my sleep system out. So there's another good tip for you guys. So when it's cold, have a high fat meal, okay? As you know, salmon is high in fats, omega 3 and omega 6. So that will keep me, uh, keep me full for longer and also warm me up from the inside so have a high fat meal uh, steak is a good one or burgers or pepper armies you know things like that high fat meals okay guys there's Lily Boo's dinner for tomorrow she got a piece of salmon and rice she'll have us she will I'll put a picture up of Lily Boo now if you don't know her I'll put a picture up when she was in here with me helping me dig a little oven there yeah, she's all fat down there tomorrow. Right, let's get the sleep system out. <laughs> Good girl. All right. So I've been fed and watered. I'm in my gong bag and my bivy bag. It's raining. It started raining now about half a will go, but it's uh, it's light at the moment, but it is too heavy and the temperature's due to drop, but 
I'm in my sleep system now, so I'm not getting cold. I've got a softy jacket with me, so you need to bring warm clothing with you, okay? Just in case, but uh, I wouldn't need it tonight. So I'm going to watch this film I've downloaded now on Netflix. Um, I don't think it's the name of it. It's about shark, it is. Um, I can't think of the name of it. I let you know in the morning, right? I know it was. So I'll, um, I'll say goodnight now, guys, and uh, if anything happens, I'll let you know. Uh, I've got my piss bottle in here, so I'm not going to have to get out there. Little godsend there, guys. Please get yourself one, right? And you girls. It just saves you getting out of your tent, your tarp, even your hammock, and things like this, okay? So get yourself a piss bottle. Right, I'll speak to you in the morning, guys. Out! Morning, guys. It's ten past three. Uh, crack in sleep. I'm going to try and go back to sleep now after this update. Uh, not cold at all. As you can see, I'm still in my... Oh, see. I'm just in my mid layer. My sleeping bag, my baby bag, my air mattress, and uh, I'm fine. She went down to one degree last night. Uh... My air pillow, second one of failed. There's a puncture in it somewhere. But I got my smock under my head for a pillow, but um all's good in the hood. All's good in the hood, guys. Um So I'm gonna try and go back to sleep for another hour now. Have a brew, square everything away, and we're out here. I gotta get out there early anyway, because uh the van's going in frame with this morning at 8 30 so yeah but i'm gonna try and go back to sleep for an hour now but everything's yeah, working guys my feet are super warm because i put my woolly woolly socks on last night i took my seal skin off and put my woolly on and powdered my feet and uh i also had another warm drink before retiring that film I watched, guys, was called, it was called Deep Fear on Netflix. Very good film, guys. Bit slow starting, but absolutely brilliant. Well worth the watch. Yeah, so it was called Deep Fear, okay? So, um, yes, it's uh, ten past three, you know. Uh... Reckon I get out there about 5, 5 a.m. Yeah, something like that. But if I can't go back to sleep, I'll just listen to the radio on quiet. Speak to you soon, guys. Twenty past four, guys. Time for a brew, I think. Let's get a show on the road. So I'm making a brew now guys, but I'm doing it from inside the sleeping bag and the bivvy bag, which is great. Same as the the pee bottle, I didn't have to get out of the bivvy bag or the sleeping bag, see? So all I is doing is preserving body heat. 
So there's my brew kit, see guys? Just a tobacco tin. And I've got various things inside, wait now. Coffee sachets. And the sweeteners you pinch from the garage. Gonna put a glug of whiskey in, guys. Irish whiskey. Happy days. Brilliant burners, they are, guys. Um, I put a card up above this clip. It's a boundless voyage one, okay? Absolutely brilliant burners. Look at that. Fantastic. Didn't cost much either, guys. Didn't cost much, um, 30, something like that. Just a pot stand on burner, see? Comes with a snuffer as well. I'm not going to use that now because I'm making the most of the heat is given off. I got all my gear ready to get out there now. I got my gash bag up there. Leave no trace. You know, it's a, a shell scrap. Still taking rubbish because you don't want to attract vermin. So I go straight in the gash bag. Sanitize it all before I leave. And then bug out. Back to in five, guys. time that guy is 25 to 6 Come on. just sanitize the area make sure there's nothing left to show I've been here now I'm just gonna pull the top over now the entry and chuck some foliage over it sorry for the shadow guys Like before we leave guys, check and double check, all the zips are done up on your burgan, all the straps are done up tight. A couple of reasons for this, you don't want nothing jingling around and you don't want nothing falling out. Here's my gash. Going under the top of the burgan. Right guys, Bergen's on the back, I'm bugging out. There you go, nice frost guys. It's not a heavy frost, but it's a frost all the same. As I see the temperature went down to one degree, so just above freezing. Right guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I think we covered quite a few points. Um, I'll try and run through them again for you. So you need a kneeling pad, okay, to sit on and to kneel on, obviously, to keep your trousers dry and your ass uh, warm as well, okay? Uh, woolly hat, woolly gloves, spare socks, spare underwear. Take care of your feet. Uh, powder them. I got sealskin socks on. I'll put a picture of them up now. They're quite expensive, yeah, guys, but they're worth your weight in gold, right? So, treat yourself and get a set of them. Honest to God, they're lifesavers. Um, with your burgan, use a liner and use a cover. Um, with your nutrition, you eat a high-fat meal before retiring for sleep. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Um, it's been pretty difficult for me to get out lately with this and that going on. But we got out there, and uh, please leave a comment, punch our like, that's what gets the channel moving. And um, as I keep saying about the membership, I've said it at 50 pence a week, guys, it really help, honestly, now. 
even if it just pays for the subscriptions, you know, for the editing and things and the, the lighting, what have you. So I'll catch you guys on the outside. Take care, everyone. See you soon.